Hey everybody, it's Alan Kranz here. Wanted to bring you an update because we're adding a new report to our portfolio. It's on the co-location market. So I'm here with Cassandra Mushin, the lead analyst on the report. We wanted to give you a little background for why we think it's an interesting, important market, as well as some of the highlights from its first publication. So Cassandra, first, give people a background for why this space is important and the role that you see it playing in today's IT environment. I think co-location is and has been very important for quite some time, but now it really acts as a middle ground between a traditional all on-premise IT environment and an all cloud-based environment. It really allows enterprises to extend their co-location strategies and connect to leading cloud solutions from Amazon, Google, Microsoft, etc. Now, what are some of the key takeaways, highlights from the first iteration of this report? A couple of the big trends that we saw throughout coverage of this market are, you know, really about geographic expansion. So the U.S. based and U.S. dominant vendors looking to expand both domestically as well as internationally through land and site acquisition to really be able to cater to a broader set of enterprise demand. Another trend that we saw was a flurry of partnerships between the co-location providers and the leading cloud providers to really be able to give customers what they want in terms of their hybrid IT environments and more choice basically at the workload by workload level of where they want their workloads to reside. In terms of the vendor landscape, the two front runners were Equinix and Digital Realty. I don't think that's a big surprise. What was more interesting to me was how the smaller vendors are all kind of vying for that number three spot. They're each exhibiting pretty high growth at profitable rates. QTS is essentially changing its strategy a little bit and doubling down on its co-location business rather than services. One vendor that sticks out to me is Flexential. They're within their first year as a combined company and it's been interesting to see how they're combining their strengths and essentially doubled their footprint and how they're gonna go about business going forward. When we look forward, what do you expect to see to change in the co-location market as that space matures as well as shifts in terms of the overall IT market occur? Definitely see more geographic expansion coming both from U.S.-based vendors as well as international vendors. Huawei is a really good example there. And then also the flurry of kind of on-premise vendor-hosted cloud solutions like your Microsoft Azure Stack, AWS Outpost. Those are going to disrupt the co-location market a little bit, but in a very positive way. It gives customers more choice of where they want their workloads to reside and more ownership and control. Look for more coverage of those emerging trends as we go forward. We, as I said, we just published the first iteration of this report, but there's another one coming out based on the 4Q18 results to close out the year. That'll be published in the April to May timeframe. But it's just one of many topics that we're covering. So look to our blog, the blog section of our website, tbri.com, to keep up to date with additional content and videos that we have coming out. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks, everybody. That's all for now.